Hi and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the question. It says, show that of all line segments drawn from a given point not on it, the perpendicular line segment is the shortest. Now, in this question, we need to first draw a figure that will make the question more understandable. It says, that let from point P there is one pendicular line on the line L and there is one slanting line PN. And let this be PN. So we are given in the question that a straight line L and a point P not lying on L also PM is perpendicular to L and N is any point on L other than M. Right? So, this describes the question. We have shown that of all the line segments drawn from a given point, we have just taken two line segments from a given point. One is perpendicular and one is not perpendicular. The per we need to show that the perpendicular line is the shortest. That means PM is smaller than PN. So we need to prove that PM is smaller than PN. Right? So let us start with our proof. Now, in triangle PMN, we have angle M equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, that implies that angle N has to be less than 90 degrees because the sum of angle P and N has to be 90 degrees. And angle M, one of the angle is equal to 90 degrees. Right. Now, we also have that angle P plus angle N has to be equal to 90 degrees. This implies that angle N is equal to 90 degrees. This is the reason why we have written that angle N has to be less than 90 degrees. This shows that angle N is less than angle M because angle N is less than 90 degree but angle M is equal to 90 degrees. So, therefore, PM is less than PN because Sides opposite to greater angle is larger. Thus, we can say that PM is less than PN and hence PM is the shortest of all line segments from P to line L. Right. So, this completes the question that was given to us. I hope you enjoyed the session. 
do make an appropriate figure whenever you need to prove a given statement to be true bye for now